डिफेंस मिनिस्टर राजनाथ सिंह टू इनाग्रेट थ्री डे इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डिफेंस फाइनेंस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स सेकेंड वीमेन ट्वेंटी इंटरनेशनल मीटिंग टू बी हेल्ड इन जयपुर टू डे नेशन वाइड मॉक ड्रिल कंडक्टर टू इवेलुएट द लेवल ऑफ प्रिपेरनेस फॉर कोविड नाइन्टीन सेंटर टर्ल सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट इज रेडी विद न्यू डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल एंड इट विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस इन द मनसून सेक्शन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट पीएम नरेंद्र मोदी असर्ट्स बिहेवियरल चेंज मस्ट बिगिन एट एवरी होम टू फाइट क्लाइमेट चेंज वाइस प्रेसिडेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ग्रीट पीपल ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश ऑन दया स्टेटहुड डे इंटर ऑपरेबल क्रिमिनल जस्टिस सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट इंडिया फर्स्ट अंडरग्राउंड मेट्रो एनिमल हेल्थ सिस्टम सपोर्ट फॉर वन हेल्थ Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will inaugurate a 3-day international conference on defence, finance and economics in New Delhi. The conference will provide a unique platform to policymakers, academicians and government officials to share their insights and experiences on defence, finance and economics in the present evolving security challenges. Delegates from USA, UK, Japan, Australia, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Kenya will participate in the conference ministry of defense said the objective of the conference is to disseminate the best practices experiences and expertise of various countries it will also facilitate collaborations with foreign governments international institutions and global leaders in promoting government's vision of atmanirbhar in defense sector The second Women 20 W20 international meeting will be held at Jaipur in Rajasthan on April 13 14 Guests have started arriving to attend the W20 meeting they were accorded a great welcome at Jaipur airport with Rajasthani tradition the event will commence on April 12 with Jan Bagidari the women journey of women empowerment union minister of state culture Sri Arjun Ram Meghwal is the chief guest of the event the W20 meeting will bring together 120 women leaders from across 18 G20 countries to address gender inequality issues and promote women's economic empowerment globally The meeting will focus on the theme of women led development leverage women's untapped potential to accelerate inclusive and sustainable future India's W20 agenda focuses on five key priorities women's entrepreneurship grassroots women's leadership bridging the gender digital divide education and skill development and climate change Amid rising cases of covid a massive country wide two day mock drill was conducted successfully to evaluate the level of preparedness in dealing with covid cases the health and family welfare ministry said the mock drill was conducted at 724 districts in more than 33000 health facilities the health facilities include 28000 government facilities and more than 5600 private health facilities during the mock drill critical medical infrastructure and resources were assessed and medical staff were oriented on the management of covid critical medical infrastructure including oxygen beds isolation beds ventilators pressure swing adsorption oxygen generation plants liquid medical oxygen oxygen concentrators oxygen cylinders medicines and ppe kits were assessed 
Recently, Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia chaired a meeting with state health ministers and urged them to conduct mock drills of all health facilities. Center informed the Supreme Court that a new data protection bill is ready and will be introduced in the monsoon section of Parliament. Attorney General told a constitutional bench headed by Justice K.M. Joseph that the bill is ready. Bench also comprises Justice Ajay R. Anirudh Bose, C.T. Revikumar took note of the submission. They directed that the matter be placed before Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud so that a new bench can be constituted as Justice Joseph is set to retire on June 16th. The matter has been posted for hearing in the first week of August 2023. Senior Advocate Sham Divan, appearing for the petitioner, submitted that the court should not link the court's hearing to the legislative process. He said the legislative process is complex and it may be again referred to some committees. On 15th April 1948, Indian territory of Himachal Pradesh was created by the merger of some 30 small ruling states. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that one of the most powerful ways to fight climate change is a behavioral change that must begin at every home. Addressing the World Bank event, making it personal, how behavioral change can tackle climate change via video message, Mr. Modi emphasized that small deeds can make a huge impact when billions of people do them together. He stressed that climate change cannot be fought from conference tables alone, but has to be fought from the dinner tables in every home. In this address, Mr. Modi also spoke about India's efforts to change, to address climate change under Mission Life and said it is about democratizing the process. Elaborating on the mission, he also highlighted its prospects, which include making local bodies environmental friendly, saving water and energy, reducing waste and e-waste, adopting healthy lifestyles and promoting natural farming and millets. Prime Minister Modi illustrated his thinkings with examples from India and said in this matter of mass movements and behavior transformation, the people of India have done a lot in the last few years. He gave examples of improved sex ratio, massive cleanliness drive, adoption of LED bulbs which helps in avoiding nearly 39 million tons of carbon dioxide emission every year. Saving water by coverage of nearly 700,000 hectares of farmland by micro-irrigation, he also added. <music> Vice President Jagadeep Dankar has greeted the people of Himachal Pradesh on their statehood day. In his message, Mr. Dankar said, Dev Bhumi Himachal Pradesh is a treasure trove of nature and culture. He said its rich flora and fauna, mighty rivers, coined villages and hospitable people make the state a heaven of warmth and beauty. Vice President hoped that the state scale newer heights of progress in the days to come. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also conveyed his wishes to the people of Himachal Pradesh on the occasion. He hoped that the people of this state famous for its natural beauty and tourism, always have a prosperous and happy life. Recently, to ensure the timely disposal of criminal cases, the Ministry of Home Affairs e-prosecution portal, which is a part of the interoperable criminal justice system, has added a new feature that will also fix the accountability of government lawyers. It is a national platform for enabling integration of the main IT system used for delivery of criminal justice in the country by five pillars. It seeks to enable the seamless transfer of data and information among different pillars of the criminal justice system like courts, police, jails and forensic science laboratories 
from one platform. This system would be made available through a dedicated and secure cloud-based infrastructure and with high-speed connectivity. National Crime Records Bureau will be responsible for the implementation of project in association with National Informatics Center. The project will be implemented in collaboration with states and union territories. Bhim Rao Ramji Ambedkar B. R. Ambedkar was born on 14th April 1891. He was an Indian jurist, economist, social reformer and political leader who headed the committee drafting the constitution of India from the constituent assembly debates, served as law and justice minister in the first cabinet of Jawaharlal Nehru and inspired the Dalit Buddhist movement after renouncing Hinduism. India's first underground metro recently conducted its trial run under the Hooghly River, Kolkata. It is a part of Kolkata's Metro East-West Corridor. It passes under the Hooghly River in the city's northeast with the tunnel 13 meter below the riverbed and 33 meter below ground level. The total length of the tunnel is 520 meters. It forms part of the 4.8 kilometers underground section. Once this stretch is open, then Havra will be the deepest metro station, 33 meters below the surface in the country. The metro is expected to cover 550 meter stretch under Hooghly River in 45 seconds. The tunnel will have access for emergencies like earthquakes. <music> Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying will launch the Animal Pandemic Preparedness Initiative, APPI, Animal Health System Support for One Health Project under the aegis of National One Health Mission on 14th of April 2023 at India Habitat Center, New Delhi. It is a collaborative project between the Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying and the World Bank. It is aiming to create an ecosystem for a better animal health management system using the One Health approach. It will be implemented in five states and eight envisages improving capacity building of stakeholders involved in animal health and disease management. It will be implemented over a five-year period as central sector scheme with a financial provision of Rs. 1,228.70 crore. The project calls for participation by Human Health, Forest and Environment Department at the national, regional as well as local for creating and strengthening the One Health architecture including community engagement. 